Head, okay, we're behind the hook on the shoulder blade, head inside. Okay, this is the goal. Now, what we're going to do is a drill. Is the partner here is going to hit a head inside single, the same one we'll be drilling for a while, on the lead leg. And just stuck in between us, okay? We have to drag the elbow, the elbow, constantly nice and low. My legs are already coming back, I'm going to force with force with my down block here. No finance, the man couldn't afford it. Fifteen on me, plan now, shine, tell him if he got shit, that was gonna be important. I had a pun like he from Texas and ten ten euro per pay from shortage. If you got a body like me, it's back to what's going on here, and we'll find my life. Honestly, I'm not gonna find it. How's training been going for you the past few weeks and are you back to your normal schedule now? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, training has been going very well. Um, but the guys here have been always helping me, getting ready for the camp. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just like back to the normal schedule after the last competition. Excellent. So tell me a bit more about you. About me? Yeah. I'm a hustler. You're a what, sorry? I'm a hustler. Very good. And have you always trained in London? Um, not always. I mean, since I came here, it's been four years ago. I've been always here in five zones since I arrived. Before that, I've been training back home in Algeria. What got you into martial arts? Since I was young, like, I used to like fighting, you know. Like, I, was, um, I, I always wanted to be like a, a, a professional fighter. At the beginning, I wanted to be an MMA fighter, but then things changed. Things didn't go the way I wanted. So I just got into Jiu Jitsu. But, so when I was in Algeria, there was no Jiu Jitsu, like, I mean, not really high level of good guys of Jiu Jitsu. Like, the community was too small. So it's very, like, it's hardly to hear about Jiu Jitsu. But as I said, because I liked MMA and cage fighting, so I was following, like, and then um, I got to know Jiu Jitsu of this. And then I was looking for somewhere to start doing Jiu-Jitsu. And then eventually I found somewhere. It was good. I mean, it was the best there in Algeria. And I started training, I started competing, and then I started to like it. And then I just wanted to go, like, to go further and succeed. And what do you like about it? What I like about it, you know, Jiu-Jitsu, it's not just like, um, martial arts like just to fight people it's as we say it's a lifestyle you know even for the personality it, it, it makes you better you know it's like you have to be calm it, it makes you like um, think more you know it's good it's like um, yeah, I mean it, it's I like it more than the other sports I've been doing before like I've done some Karate, Taekwondo, and I think this is the best sport ever. Very good. Yeah. Good. And have you been at Fight Zone throughout your grappling career? Since I arrived in London, yes. Yeah. And what do you like about this gym? Everything. <laughs> Everything, like people, 
the um, atmosphere, the environment, you know, the training level. It's, it's like the best in London, I believe. It is the best. So, I mean, just like perfect, you know, for me. Good. Amazing. So you had a very exciting and memorable match with Mark Linders at the last Alpha Grappling Dungeon Wars 2. What are your thoughts on it? Well, it was a, it was a good match, you know, it was uh, exciting. Mark is my friend, you know, I mean, um, we had a good show. It wasn't easy to get the win, of course. He's a very good grappler. And I learned, I learned more stuff from that match. So that's what I focus more about, like always when I fight, win or lose. But for me, the most important is to learn something, to improve something. And it, it happened, I did actually. So it was a good experience for me. What did you think of the win, best of three rounds format? I think it's a good idea. Um, you know, sometimes when you do a fight for like five, six minutes, you do like a small mistake and then you lose and then obviously you have to like just eliminate it. You get eliminated, I mean. Mm -hmm. So in this way, I think it's, it's, it's good because you could lose the first match and then second, third is going to be different. You're going to be more hungry. So the fight is going to get more excited, more actions, you know. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's good for the show. It's good. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on Alpha Grappling as a promotion? I think they're doing well as a second or third. I think it's the third edition, isn't it? So yeah, for, for I mean, as a starting, it's, it, they're doing good. So you're competing in an eight-man Grand Prix tournament on the 18th? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any familiar faces in the tournament? I only know Jed and Francesco. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I mean, Francesco used to be training together here. And Jed, I met him in uh, competitions a couple of times. And have you ever competed against any of them before? Well, Francesco, we've been a training partners. Jed, I did compete against him. It was um, gi matches. Yeah, it was good as well. I mean, he's a, he's a tough fighter, you know. Is he? He's a very good competitor. And how do you see yourself winning on the 18th? I have no doubt. Yeah, I have no <laughs> doubt. Very nice have, attitude. Good. Yeah, so confident with that. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, and I'm still preparing for it. You know, still have some time. So, but definitely, I'm gonna win. Sure. Very good. Turn back of the knee. Pull to the side. Leg goes higher. Switch to reverse X. Back to the center. This leg is already there. This leg is actually moving. I extended my weight, but my leg is still there. My shin is across the back of using leg here. Okay? I extend both legs, straight away sit up. Sit the seat You've been very active for the past few months or so, competing in several shows. Is that the plan, to stay as active as possible? Yeah, I always want to stay active. The more active I am, usually the better I do, the less nerves I have as well. So yeah, it's always good to stay active and get as many wins as possible. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about you. What brought you to martial arts? Um, so my dad's a boxing manager and I used to be into striking when I was younger, boxing, kickboxing. And I wanted to make a transition to mixed martial arts. So I got into jiu-jitsu to get the grappling side of things. But then I fell in love with jiu-jitsu and then just kind of stuck with it really. So you pretty much started off with jiu-jitsu? No, I had striking first. So striking first and I got good at striking and then I needed grappling to become more of a complete fighter. But then I started doing jiu-jitsu and then just loved that more. So stuck with it. Brilliant. And how are you finding balancing being a coach and a very active competitor at the same time? Um, it's definitely not easy. I think it'd be much easier just either being just a competitor or just a coach. So it is a little bit harder to find the balance with the two. It is difficult, but I love it still, regardless. You were the main event for the first Alpha Grappling show in July. How does it feel to be returning? Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, last time I managed to avenge a defeat I took a couple of years ago, two defeats even. Uh, so I got to get revenge on that one. And um, this time around it's an eight man bracket, so I get quite a few fights this time. So it'll be even more fun. 
And you're now under a really tough test in an eight-man tournament. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it's going to be fun, but I see myself just running through the whole division and submitting everyone pretty quickly, to be honest. And have you competed against any of the other competitors before? Yes, I've competed against a couple of them. You're considered somewhat of a polarising figure. People either love you or hate you, a bit like Marmite. What would you say about that? I've got to agree. It's either, <laughs> it's either you love the way I am or it's, it, it depends on how you, how you view it. I, I see myself as a very confident, up beat kind of person. Some people take it for cockiness and arrogance. So it depends on how you see me. If you see me the way I see myself, you will love me. If you see me the other way, you're going to hate me. So it's either love or hate, one of the two. And I welcome both. Do you think having your student Bart in the same tournament pose any issues for you? Not at all, it makes it easier for me. It just means we can get to the final and then just get money. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So what would happen if you both ended up facing each other? Uh, I'll really talk to the promoter about this. If we get to the final, we're not going to fight. We're just going to, that would be it. He could take the win, I don't mind. Like here, we can go to the match and he could take the, he get his hand raised, I don't really mind. We're not going to fight though. No. Um, and how do you see yourself winning on the 18th? submission against everyone multiple times. So I get to fight people up to three rounds each match and it's the best two out of three. So I'll, I'll submit everyone the first two times and then submit again the first two times. It's amazing. It's going to be only submissions, that's it. So any final words for our audience, not ever? Yeah, um, make sure to tune in and watch out because I'm bringing the fire, as always. Thank you for your time and we're wishing you the best of luck. Thank you very much, look forward to it. How's training been going for you for the past few months? It's been, it's been going very well. Uh, I had an injury on my face and I couldn't train for a couple of weeks. Oh gosh. So this is like my first training back after the injury. What brought you to London? Uh, it is a very long story. I came here to train for 10 days from Sicily. Uh, when I saw the level here in London, I stayed and I wanted to take this sport uh, as a full-time career and I'm slowly building into it. Brilliant. And what was your first martial arts that you ever did? The first martial arts I did is called uh, Jiu-Jitsu Fighting. It is like a mixture of Karate and Judo and Nevada, which is the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu part, kind of. Uh, it's a different sport, um, but yeah, this is what introduced me to martial arts. And why Jiu-Jitsu now? I just enjoy grappling without having to punch each other in the face, and I, I, I really like the, the complexity of the sport, how mentally involved you have to be to kind of do well, and also physically, so yeah, this is what I like about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brilliant. And you were at the last Alpha Grappling Show. Uh, how was the experience? Uh, the experience was amazing. Uh, everything is new to me. Um, I was very disappointed because I didn't get the sub, but I, I had a kind of quite a pro uh, dominant, um, a dominant performance. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I want to I, for the next one. I really want to get as many submissions as I can and be more aggressive. Brilliant. What did you make of the best of three rounds format? I think the best of three rounds format is very nice because. It allows the best grappler to reveal himself better. Like sometimes if you just have five minutes, uh, it's, not, it's never about luck, but you know, sometimes a strong pass or a fast pass can decide the match, whilst when you have a format of three rounds, that can kind of, that kind of favors the, be the better grappler, to my opinion. Brilliant. You're now in an eight-man Grand Prix tournament. Anyone in particular you're looking forward to facing? Uh, not really. Uh, I think everybody is, uh, is quite high level and I'm excited to go against everybody, except for my coach, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, I was very... I really wanted to face Tom Barry, but he's not in the, in the tournament anymore. So maybe one day in another match I can face Tom Barry. Excellent. So a lot of people, talking of that, wouldn't want to face, uh, wouldn't want to enter a tournament with their coach in it. Um, will that be an issue for you? Uh, no, I know, I know the loyalty I have for my coach and uh, I want the best for our team and if he comes for us to fight, uh, we'll see what to do. I think we'll just decide who goes over or if we get to the final, we'll just, we just flip a coin or something, I don't yeah. know. Well, it depends on the rules of the tournament as well. So how do you see yourself winning on the 18th? I see myself winning in a dominant performance and closing out the division with my coach.
How has it been running Fight Zone, especially during these difficult times? Yeah, it was tough, but uh, we had amazing support from our members, you know, and we're confident that we would be back. And we knew that people were waiting to, to be able to train again. We have a huge community here and everyone was hungry to come back training. So we were confident as soon as we were able to open the doors, we would be bounce, we would bounce back strong, like, stronger than ever. Great, yeah. excellent. And how has Abdallah been training? He's amazing, he always works hard. He has amazing training partners. We have great uh, athletes, comp competitors here. Mm -hmm. So they always push each other. I'm very lucky and blessed to have so many talented and hardworking athletes here. So yeah, yeah it's a blessing. Excellent. And what did you think of his last performance in September? Uh, yeah, it was a tough fight with Marco. I was there. Uh, they went for war for like 21 minutes non-stop. Wow. Yeah, but it was great. I think uh, he got the win. But it was a great lesson and Mark is a great friend of ours. And sometimes they need to fight each other, but it's just part of the game. We're all professional, all athletes. At the end, they shake hands, they, they hug each other, but inside that when they are competing, they're serious. So it was a great fight. We learned a lot as well. So yeah, it was good. It's the main important thing, learning as well. Yeah, yeah. We can leave the fight better after, you know, learning from bad, from mistakes or things that work. So there's always lessons to be learned in a fight. Very good. Yeah. And would you say he's one of your best students? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. He's listening. And how do you think he'll do on the 18th? I think he's prepared to win. I mean, he fought uh, probably the best, uh, some, one of the best guys there, Jed. He, he beated him already in, in competition. So I think he has a great chance. There's obviously other guys, not just one. We have three fights to get the, the win, the, the gold. So it's going to be interesting, but he's ready for sure.